guys, it's me Kat. I hope you're all doing well today. Really quickly before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to Kitty, who is the first subscriber I've ever met, and I kind of thought that would never happen because, let's be honest, I'm kind of a nobody, but um, yeah, she recognized me and she came up to speak to me and it was like totally nice and we took an Instagram picture and it was magical. So I just wanted to say hi and um, I feel like the lighting might be kind of off right now. I'm filming at, it's 11.30 a.m., but um, it's really rainy out, and for some reason in the viewfinder I look super orange, so I hope that's not the case in the video. But anyway, um, I have been collecting pieces very carefully to add to my collection, and I didn't want them to just be any random pieces because I've really been trying to, I guess, save my money. So yeah, but a lot of these, some of these are actually like going out, kind of like night out clubbing pieces, and others are just like really warm essential winter pieces. So without further ado, I'm going to start, and I'm just going to be starting from the tops and then end at the bottom. So they're not categorized by brand or anything like that. Anyway, okay, let's jump into my haul. Okay guys, so to begin, I have this little black number. This is from Nasty Gal, and I know it looks crazy right now on the hanger, like you can't figure out what it is. But um, it's just a cute little halter top to wear for like nights out, and I just thought it was really cute. And we'll go with bodycon skirts, circle skirts, everything like that, and they were having, a, I think, 150 items for $15 each kind of sale. So that's where I got, or that's when I got that, rather. And this one is the other piece I got from Nasty Gal. I think it's really cute. Um, once again, I feel like it looks better on than on the hanger, but it's just adorable. It's like this little white, um, I don't even know how you would call that, I guess, crossing each other, and like the sleeve cut. Everything is just really cute and feminine to me, so I'm super excited to be wearing that in the summer, of course. And this piece I got from Brandy Melville, and I like it, but it's weird. I have the green one, which I featured in my last haul, and I feel like the green one looks a little different, but these are listed as the same item. I just, I feel like this is a little shorter. Um, next up is another Brandy piece. You know me, how could I resist? This is just a really nice, soft, cozy, delicate, long sleeve top, and I felt like this would be a great layering piece under, like, chunkier sweaters, and just a good way to keep warm in the winter, because... Usually when I'm wearing like sweaters or blazers, I'll tend to wear a tank top, but in the winter, it's actually, I think I think it's actually better to just wear something like this because it still looks the same like in the middle, but it keeps you warm on your arms, which tank tops do not do. Next up is this piece from my sister, actually. Um, this is by American Eagle, and it's actually a men's sweater, can you believe it? Um, it's an extra small, and she was gonna, well, she originally bought it for herself, um, rather, she asked my dad for it for Christmas, so he let her order it, and then, I don't know, it's a bit feminine on her, it's a bit, I mean, it, it's actually kind of surprising how good it looks on a girl, but um, I actually really like it, and I was glad to take that off her hands, and just to let you guys know, um, I'm kind of blending some of my holiday gift items into this haul, and I'll tell you which ones are holiday, because um, I made a holiday haul, and it was like the, literally the most boring thing I've ever seen in the entire world, um, it like terrified me. Like, I, I had no clue I was that boring. Anyway, but um, I'm, just, I'm just adding it in here because it's kind of like a two-for-one. Next up, I really quite like this top, and I would say this is a wonderful layering piece as well. This is from Aritzia, and it's just kind of like a mix. No, something fell. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, it's kind of like a mix of, like, a heathered gray with, like, a kind of taupey brown, and I just absolutely adore the fabric and the way it looks, and I think, oh, why are you... Things keep falling behind me, curse my life, I swear to God. Now, this sweater probably looks quite similar to the top I just showed you. I'm kind of digging the taupey, like, cream color family, so yeah. But this is from um, Urban Outfitters. It is an extra small, and it's by the brand Staring at Stars, which I absolutely love. I bought a similar sweater last winter, and it's just, it's still one of my favorites. They do these really nice, like, substantial, like, actual warm sweaters. They give it, like, this beautiful drape detailing. And I just think it's so pretty and it pisses me off because every time I don't buy something, it sells out. And when I do buy something ahead of time to avoid it being sell, uh, sold out, it like goes on sale like a month later. It pisses me off. So that's the case with this, unfortunately for me. This one is also by Staring at Stars. And it's just a really snuggly, amazing snood. It feels like, it kind of feels like a sweater for your neck. It's just awesome. And I think this pairs so beautifully with so many different things. It's very versatile. This piece, believe it or not, it is by Hollister, and I got it for free. Um, I ordered some Hollister stuff, and I guess they just accidentally dropped this in there. I don't know. It wasn't. I wasn't charged for it. 
it wasn't on the list, like the th- the packing shipment packing shipment list, whatever. But um, it's like just my size. It's a small and it retails for like 80 bucks. So I'm pretty happy. It's actually ridiculously cozy. And I'm not like a hoodie girl, but this is actually kind of making me want to buy more hoodies or at least experiment. This is from Nasty Gal as well. I think it's really cute, but I definitely don't think it's worth the money. When I first saw it online, um, it looked really cozy and it's not that warm. I don't think it's actually pretty thin to me. And also, like, the front part is just really too cropped, I think. It's just way too short because it kind of shows, like, the crotch area a little. And I like to have my oversized sweaters cover those bits, if you know what I mean. So um, I like it, but, you know, there's, like, reservations and mixed feelings I have. This is an absolute piece of shit. I'm so pissed at Nasty Gal. This is a sweater dress I ordered from them, and it looks nothing like it did on the model. It looked fitted and beautiful. And it looked cream, and this is called ivory, but it looks pink. Not only that, it's just super loose and baggy. It's unflattering. And with the pockets, they gave me a defective um, pocket, and so now I'm just really annoyed. So I'm going to have to email them and ask if I can just return it and have them foot the shipping because they usually charge you for it. Um, next up is this pair of Hollister like legging jean things. I ordered a few Hollister pieces, but this is the only pant that I ended up keeping. I really like it. I just, I have a thing for really dark blue denim. I just feel like it goes and it's just really classy and it can, I mean, to me, it's just like the best color of jean, if you ask my opinion, but anyway, um, I like it. It's wonderfully stretchy. I love the color. I love these like brass details. I just, I'm someone who likes gold and like brass a lot. So, but I also love the pockets and this part, the knee is actually really stretchy. It's weird. It kind of conforms to your knee in a really interesting way. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like actual seams here. So I don't know how they did that, but. Okay, this is um, from American Apparel and I don't know how I've lived my life without them. I love them. They are so cool. They look like leather pants. I'm sure you've seen a dozen girls wear these, but they look leathery, but obviously they're not. And they just, but they just make you look like a little bit more edgy. And I really like that. Behind that, I have another pair of American Apparel leggings. These are their winter leggings, and they are amazing. They're so warm. At first, I must admit that um, when I first started wearing it, it kind of, when you're like bloated and stuff, it does kind of choke you a little with the elastic band because it's very tight. So it's, it's a little uncomfortable in that way, but um, I think I've kind of stretched it out a little so that problem's not too prevalent, um, but yeah. And then... This last piece of clothing, they're pants from Necessary Clothing, and I really liked them. I don't know, they caught my eye, and I think it's a bit daring and different. You know, it kind of looks like military pants to me. I just have no clue how I'm going to wear them, but yeah. We're going to jump into the other accessories and things I got for Christmas now, so wait a second. Okay guys, so much for consistency. I've been changing into the clothes because I'm showing you them as I'm speaking on me, so um, I just decided to stay in the shirt and just film the rest. So these are really beautiful boots I got from Aldo, but they hurt my feet very painfully. Um, it's not really a matter of the heel because obviously this isn't a big heel, but um, something about the shoe, it like scrapes against my toes and it really hurts. It gives me blisters and it's just, it's more uncomfortable than I thought it would be. So it kind of feels like money wasted to me. Um, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm just looking at wearing them, but it's just annoying that I have to be a little uncomfortable while doing it, so. Um, these ones, though, are a different story. These are by Steve Madden, and I love these. Um, they're all sold out now, sorry guys, but yeah, um, they were called Gadget, and I just really like them because they have this gold detailing, and I've really never owned, oh, I like this too when I walk, you can hear it. <coughs> Jesus, sorry. Anyway, um, I've never really had like booties like this, so I was very excited. And then, I'll show you a couple of my Christmas gifts. Um, sort of the highlights, I guess. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Fuck. Okay. So, here's this bag that my friend Kin got me from Aldo. Um, believe me, he did not pick this out himself. He's a straight guy, but um, I was looking at it, and so he bought it for me, which is really sweet. Um, so I have this, and I just actually, it doesn't come with this long strap, but I took this from my other black Aldo bag. Um, so yeah, it just works great, and I love it. Um, there was a sale at Aldo, so it was kind of like a buy three, like bundle three things, get 20% off, I believe. So I also received this wallet, but don't feel bad, guys. Like, believe me, I spent a lot of money on him. I spent like over $100 on him, so. But um, it <laughs> comes with these like card slots, and it's just really beautifully be uh, made. 
it, it's a little heavy, which is on like the shitty side, but oh well. Um, next up, my sister like stuffed my stockings with like fun socks because she works at the Gap, so that was cute. And I actually don't have that many socks, so this was much needed. Um, my, my dad also got Archie comic books for me and my sister. It's like a tradition we have. We've been wearing them or uh, reading them for um, a really long time since we were kids, and he read them when he was kids. So it's just nice to have that sentimentality. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, my cousin Hannah and my um, cousin Wilson and their whole family really they put together. This book of cousins for us, which is so sweet because it's like different time periods where we were together when me and my sister looked hideous. And like, I don't think people understand how far I've come and this beauty journey. It's like, I've built this on my back, you know, like everything I know, I had to fight for it because my parents are way too sensible. They don't, they don't really care about like style. So I just really had to like learn and it is hilariously awkward. But yeah, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.